Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here, and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys the unit that I've just finished up painting, the 40k models that I'm wanting to paint in the future, and you definitely don't want to miss the start that I've made to my Skaven Pirate Project. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, so I got a couple of things lined up here on the hobby desk to share with you. A um, couple of projects that I want to start doing in the future. But I'm going to start off with my uh, Corn Blood Warriors. I was going to say Blood Reavers, but I don't want to get them mixed up. But these are four Blood Warriors, and these are from the Age of Sigmar starter set. And it's still hard to believe that models this nice are, are like from a starter set. So. I have been painting these guys up on the stream, up on the Twitch stream, um, for the last couple of streams, and they've been an absolute blast to paint. They're full of detail, um, and it, they don't take too long to paint. It's just be careful with the detail stuff, like the gold stuff, and you should be good to go with them. And um, a lot of things are very similar. Right? Like you have a lot of red, a lot of kind of gold colors. Uh, the only kind of differences with some of them is obviously the weapons and some hair um, But that was it, you know, I really like painting these They're really, this whole kind of corn bloodbound faction from the starter set Is slowly starting to become some of my favourite um, warbands Or some of my favourite factions simply because of the models um, And I kept the bases really simple I didn't want to go over the top because I want to get them finished, you know, within a reasonable time uh, so I just went with the Agrelin art with a brown color, a brown base with a Agrax Earthshade wash um, and then a dry brush of a grey, I think it was Dawnstone grey just to kind of you know bring a little bit of color back into it and then of course the skulls on the bottom, you have to have a couple of skulls on the corn model um, but I had a lot of fun painting these, I highly recommend getting a couple of these to paint and if you guys notice there is only four and that's because there is usually five but I have the leader guy here who's going to get in focus for me at some point if I move all these over there we go this is the guy I'm wanting to do for a painting video so I kind of I know how to paint him now I know things kind of I'm, well let's just say I'm prepared uh, to paint this guy now I know what goes where what colors to use and everything so hopefully a video for that should be up pretty soon if it stays in focus get, get out of the hair corn guy you had your chance yeah so this guy is really cool this is like my favorite guy out of this uh, unit to be holding his belly well the big mount in his belly you can see the tonsils and everything in the back uh, pretty awesome so another thing that i'm going to start doing in the near future is there we go Space Marines! Now I've been wanting to do Space Marines uh, for a while because I have Marnius Calgar or not Mar yeah I have Marnius Calgar, I have Robert Gulliman model and since this Warhammer Conquest uh, book thing started coming out and everyone's kind of hopped on them to get their, their three Space Marines I got like, I think I have three, I've, yeah I got three here tree here, I have another tree on a sprue and I have another one coming in the post because I subscribed as well I want to get that extra stuff um, but it's a really great starter uh, magazine even just get the first couple of issues to get the free models you know you're saving like a bazillion fucking euro um, and then of course the second issue you get the deck guard but I, I have some of these deck guard already these are the exact same sprues that come in the kind of the little tree man box but they're incredible. The only bad thing I don't like about the deck guard is, and I think it's just this guy, there's a bit of a gap in his shoulder here. And it is like snap fit, like it does come out and everything. So you can just fill that, but that's the only thing I can kind of say about these, a bad thing. Other than that, I absolutely love these uh, deck guard models. But these Primaris Marines, these, you know, when I first heard of them, I was thinking they're just bigger marine, space Marines and not really too pushed on them. But these guys, I don't know if, if they're true scale or not, or whatever it is. I'm just thinking of like, oh, a space marine seems so tiny now compared to them. God, even the deck guard models. I don't even know how big these deck guard models are. Look at that first size comparison. Jeez. But I'm going to be painting these up pretty soon because I have Robert Gulliman. I have uh, Marnius Calgar that I've had for years, the old metal model big lump of metal that I want to get painted so I want to get uh, the rest 
built off this sprue as well and then get the other ones from the one that comes in the post as well so moving on from that I have two more things left to share with you guys one more thing before I get to the kind of the big thing that I'm wanting to work on uh, just kind of a quick little thing to talk about I am still currently trying to rebase some of my fantasy stuff so I completely forgot that I had 20 of these MDF round uh, bases so I've been bursting through them well, pretty much like in like a night and early enough near enough did these just kind of went with the basic kind of gray path with a rock with a rock kind of surface on it and the black rim uh, these are for my Skaven clan rats that are already painted so I'm going to take them off some night and stick them all onto them so I'll have 20 more onto round bases which is going to look so much better than having a mixed match of square and round uh, but these like small MDF bases I think, I'm pretty sure these are like 20 millimeter ones they're really small they're perfect for rebasing all stuff like that and um, so keep an eye out for that in the video I'll probably do another showcase once they're rebased but that's just another little small thing I've been working on and what I'm going to be finishing pretty soon so now on to the kind of the big thing that I want to do in the future well pretty soon I don't want to say future is this bad boy now this is the gloom tide shipwreck from uh, Idonet Deepkin now as you can see I've done a quite bit of work on it I put a lot of uh, balsa wood going around to kind of cover up the holes because all where the balsa wood is it's like there's no holes there or there's no wood there it's all like complete see through it's, like, it's a complete wreck like um so i kind of fill that up and the whole point of this is now i'm happy with the sides here that looks fine this side looks fine the inside here looks a bit iffy i don't know if i really don't want to change that because it's an absolute pain to try and glue these in like that and um, a lot of glued fingers that night trying to do that uh, the only thing i would probably change is like the plank here i'm not too sure if it looks like a walk like someone would walk that plank i'm not too sure but the whole point of this is that i'm wanting to have uh, i talked about this a while ago in a video is scaven uh, I want to do the Skaven clan, which is Clan Scurvy, which is basically their Skaven pirates. Um, they're pretty out there. There's not really a whole lot of stuff about them. I just seen them in the uniforms book that came out for uh, Warhammer Fantasy. I think it was like in like early eight edition, maybe. So I want to get this ship done up like that. I want it to have it look like it's all it's all like battered, which is already it's already like that in the first place. But I want to add my own little bits. Like I want to do something with this uh, mast. So what I was thinking was, you get this little small little piece that comes with the ogres. And that's perfect for like a little crow's nest thing up there. I want to work that in somehow. I have this dwarven telescope, which is going to fit in. And then just a couple of little things that will go in on it. Like, uh, like this is a grot, a grot's body. I'm going to be fitting that in there. Um, like a little small scale, I'm going to change the head on them and maybe put them up on the crow's nest. But um, it has a lot of work still to go on it. Um, I still want to change some things. I want to change this guy on the front. I want to try and put some scaven thing there. Um, and then I want to add a couple of cool little features on it. Like this thing even has a rudder on the back of it. Look at that. That's awesome. I really uh, This model is brilliant as a terrain piece. It's fantastic. It comes in two pieces or you can put it glued as one like I did. But I think this is going to be a cool piece once it's done. I, I want to roughly have about maybe eight models, eight to ten models to go with it that are going to stay on. Like they're going to be glued on. They're not going to be on bases, and that's going to be like the start of the clan scurvy and um, the faction that I'm wanting to build up over time. So I think I'm off to a good start. Um, there's a lot of empty space in behind under this, but. This is like a nightmare trying to stick this stuff up here because there's nothing that I can glue onto that goes across and I try and get like my finger in and get it under parts and my two, all my, my two hands and all the fingers on them were like glued to shit when I finished with this that night. So I kind of left it for a few nights, I got sick of it. But I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a really cool project. It's gonna be a slow one because I don't want to rush it. I'm gonna do it like piece by piece, model by model, and everything. And hopefully it's gonna turn out really good. And I think I put a couple of pictures of this up on my Instagram today. So if I have a better look at the Instagram, 
uh, or you want to have a look at the better pictures of this, like still frame ones, you'll see them on Instagram. Uh, just look up Sponge Hammer Pen and you'll find it straight away. So I've got a couple of things lined up, I'm going to be pretty busy. Um, yes, and the next, like, first of all, I want to get this guy painted up for the video. That's the next video project. And then everything else will kind of take. Uh, take order after that so that's the update that's what's on my desk that's the kind of the weekly uh review of what i'm working on i spent like kind of most of the evening cleaning up this hobby desk as well look how clean it is a little bit of mess there but it's been as clean as it's as it has been for months so um yeah so stay tuned for uh blood what i keep getting the names mixed up blood warrior video and then over the next couple of videos it's going to be um some space marines some deck guard and then you know of course i'm going to be working on the skaven pirate ship as well so that is going to be in a couple of videos as well so if you guys like this video make sure to hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe if you already haven't looking forward to seeing your guys feedback so once again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time